first step is one of my favorite wigs by Madey Beauty. It's a ginger color and my boss at my last job hated it, but I like it. Next step is the exact same wig, but as you see, it's a different color. It's like a honey goldish top color with a chocolatey, very dark, almost black color underneath and at the root. I really like this wig. I cut shorter bangs into it, so it would like kind of sit high up on my forehead. A very Lolita or Melanie Martinez style. And I also cut side fringe because I feel like it slims out my big jawline. <laughs> I wore this one a lot. My boss did like this one too when I'd wear it to work. Um, and I love the texture of this. This is a yakky texture. So soft. Next up is one of my cheapest wigs. I ordered this one off of Amazon. But actually all my wigs are relatively cheap. I've never spent more than like $30 on a wig except for my one human hair wig I have but as you see this is extremely Melanie Martinez style um, I keep saying Melanie Martinez I'm sure other people <laughs> famous people have a style like this as well um, I love the two tones though it is very shiny does look very costumey but with a hat and some dry shampoo and trimming as you see I need to fix those bangs it won't look too bad I already took off some length at the bottom too I really like this one because I feel it shows like the black makes me feel one way and the blonde makes me feel another and so it's like I can have both at once and I guess I'm greedy like that. <laughs> so this one, I used to like this one a lot. I got a lot of compliments when I'd wear it but, and I say used to because I don't really wear it anymore, it knotted up a lot. That part doesn't bother me actually because when I brush it out the frizz makes it look more realistic. I think I'm just getting used to bold blondes, bold reds bold blacks that this just feels drab and I don't like the lace parting I feel it looks very fake if I don't put some kind of like scar tissue tape thing on underneath it all right so this one I have worn so many times I got this one on Etsy it's by hair cube though from Amazon but there's also a seller on Etsy who sells them for a little cheaper it's like a $20 wig and I okay so it's definitely cheaply made however when you fix this up, it's kind of like a, a car that's old and messed up, but you fix it up and then it's better than maybe a new car you had. That's how I feel about this wig. It has been through everything. I've washed it so many times. I've curled the front after cutting it. I've exercised in it, worked in it, done everything in it. It doesn't have combs, so I don't like that, that it doesn't have combs because then it can slide off my head easier. So I use bobby pins to pin it in. But yeah, this is one of my favorites ever. And now I'm just getting a wig off my fancy little wig tower. As you see, it is black and yeah, this is jet black. This is not, sometimes I have the number two, which is the closest to black without being black. And the number four, which is my favorite. It's like a very rich, dark brown. Um, this doesn't look that great on me because it's so black and it just, I feel, looks really fake. But with dry shampoo, I do get a lot of compliments. I think sometimes people just like how it's styled. I don't think it's so much the color of the wig, but um, I did cut the high up bangs again. I feel like it like, just like I said, it balances out my very broad jaw. Sorry if it's hard to hear me, by the way, I am outside, the wind is blowing, the crickets are doing their thing, and my dog keeps randomly barking. But yeah, um, the wind's gushing right now. So this one, I like to, Put behind my ears because it's really comfortable this one came from amazon actually i just typed in like wavy black wig with bangs and yeah my dog's chewing on a bone beside me sorry um i do find that black though if i don't want to be noticed that much or like i'm just kind of in a mood i go for this wig and it does go with any outfit um i just find it really easy especially for beginners with wigs all right, y'all, she is my favorite. She gives off Lana Del Rey vibes. She's my only real human hair wig. Her color is, I believe, number 27, which is a, as you see, kind of an auburnish color, and it has a dark root. It has a fake scalp, and I can do anything I want to this wig since it's real curly, color it, but I don't want to because I just love how natural she is, and she feels so comfortable against my skin my psoriasis on my face it doesn't feel itchy like the fake synthetic fibers right here i was just feeling very like ariel the little mermaid and you know like when she this is like embarrassing to say while i'm watching myself but like you know when she's on the shore and she's like i have feet that's kind of how i felt but 
um yeah and i also like wearing auburn shades because i feel auburn and black bring out any kind of non-brown in my brown eyes if that makes sense like no offense to brown eyes but i like when there maybe are like green or gold hues in my eyeballs this one also came from etsy it was the lightest blonde they had and at first when i pulled it out of the box i was like whoa i'm not going to be able to wear this it looks so fake but again dry shampoo did a little bit of eyeshadow on the root to make it look more realistic and i cut fringe as i always do and you know right now i have not done anything to this wig since taking it off my head so that's why i'm having to brush it out taking out bobby pins and all that i've not messed with this wig since so you're seeing it uh being kind of repaired like what i would do if i were to leave the house i give it a nice brush out i make sure none of the wefts are showing and i usually will wear a hat with one like this just because again like if it doesn't have combs i always have this fear that a bobby pin's just not gonna hold it in place and right now I'm looking at myself on my phone camera because I feel that better shows if it looks natural in me or not. But yeah, I really like this wig. I feel like it ages me backwards. This one is special to me because she's one of my first wigs I ever purchased, even before I felt like I had to have wigs because of burning off a lot of my hair. She is by Forever Young in one of my favorite colors ever. It's called Autumn Haze. And I'm sure you can see why it's called Autumn Haze. I just love, okay, so they do come very shiny. This is why they're on the cheaper side. But once you put dry shampoo in it, it does not feel like a cheap wig at all because the hairline and everything feels so natural. I like how bright it is, like for a natural color, or not on me, but you know, on a, it looks like it could be a natural ginger. Okay, this is me again trying to channel like Ariel the Little Mermaid. Look at my feet. Okay, yeah. Um, but yeah, for like a natural color, it's very bright. So I like that. And as you see, it kind of makes my eyes look more green instead of brown. Again, no offense to brown eyes. And I like to put her up, make her halfway, do all kinds of stuff. I didn't really have to cut bangs into this one. Okay, please don't say I'm culturally appropriating with this wig. I have lots of Jewish women in my family who have this kinky kind of curly hair. I wish I had gotten it, but I didn't. Um, I cut bangs into this, or not bangs, more like side fringe, and <laughs> she's a little big to wear out of the house, really, because, uh, I mean, you can see for yourself. I actually thinned her out, believe it or not, and I love her, though. She makes me feel, like, just free, you know, like, wild and kind of like Merida from Brave, and I tried to contain her by putting her in a ponytail bun thing, and... It did a little something, but it's still just, I don't feel I could wear this in public and not feel kind of funny just because it's so big. All right, so this one right here, I kind of call my cereal bowl head wig because it reminds me of the popular 80s haircuts that everyone called bowl haircuts. I was born closer to the 90s part of the 80s, but I still was born in the 80s so this was a thing i think it's nostalgic for me because even though i get insults i legit have had people tell me they do not like my hair in this wig i like it um it just feels playful and different and yeah and i like the color because it's kind of it's not auburn it's not brown it's not blonde it's like a burnt just i kind of like that it's ugly in a way i don't know it's hard to explain but and i have to do the foot thing again you know <laughs> I actually can't stand feet to be real um and yeah see this does the same thing again to my eye color if i wear blonde my eyes just look brown but yeah i really like this cereal bowl wig and here we go with a super blonde i love this one even though i've actually not worn it out of the house yet she is pretty new she was only it was after tax 11 dollars with free shipping on amazon i cut bangs into her i feel very Daenerys or Khaleesi or whatever you want to call her. I actually did not watch that show, but I know what she looked like from Game of Thrones when I wear her. Not saying I look like her, I just, you know, the hair. And yeah, she's very cheaply made, but throw on a hat, some bobby pins, and here I am with the foot thing again. I don't understand myself sometimes, but yeah. So this one is by Utre, O-U-T-R-E, or Utre, and this is the color DR4 slash Champagne Blonde and it's in the style stevie and i used to wear her a lot but i'm kind of just sick of her i don't know she's really pretty it looks like i took time curling it it goes with my 
skin tone and everything i just i want something a little like on the more on the uglier side and she just looks almost too trendy like something the popular girl would wear so i'm putting my hair into a tiny little ponytail i uh, can't really do much with this ponytail so i got this thing by typing in flexible ponytail extension on amazon and you just stick it down it's bendable it's really weird looking um but it gets the job done i can't stand the claw clip in ponytail extensions and i can't stand the wrap ones because they fall out and they look really fake this one you twist it and you can kind of like adjust the length without having to cut it because when you adjust it or when you twist it it pulls more hair up so it shortens it if that makes sense so yeah i think it looks cute i need to take my time though i just did it really quickly to like show y'all normally i'd brush out the sides of so i don't have like bumps and i would like you know use a bobby pin to keep the pieces from falling <laughs> but i i I used to wear ponytails every day growing up and I miss being able to wear a ponytail. So I really love this ponytail extension and she's in the shade medium blonde uh, piano highlight. I don't know why I remember that, but yeah, I guess because I took a long time comparing the blondes, but she's just fun. Ariana Grande vibes and very cheap, like under $10. So and even though I'm not at the next part yet, I just want to prepare y'all. I'm about to show y'all my real hair. Here it is. Yeah. Very short. Um, my daughter says it's a wolf cut and that it's trending. But I feel like I just look like a Karen. <laughs> like, I look like I would, you know, cause a ruckus in a store. Or like I'm just a spoiled white woman. I don't like the look on me. And it just doesn't fit. Like, I've never had hair this short. It's just not anything I would choose to each his own. I don't like this look on me. But yeah, I mean, it'll grow. <laughs> I hope. 